So this this is a, a longevity story, ultimately. The headline was, Naked Mole Rat's DNA could hold the key to long life. So if we want to talk about aging, we have to talk about the genome. Yeah, if we want to talk about aging, we want to talk about the genome. Specifically, we want to talk about genomic instability, right? Mm -hmm. Genomic instability is the most fundamental driver for aging, it seems, right? Yeah. And wh what we want to do is we want to prevent DNA damage. And if there is DNA damage, we want to repair it. Mm -hmm. And that is where the naked mole rat comes in. Naked mole rats are incredible animals. And Let's go Rufus. Okay. Rufus comes in. And it's probably the ugliest mammal I have ever seen. <laughs> uh, it's it's pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, cartoon guys, they, 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 they deserve a raise because they, they, they made a really cute cartoon from that. They live in large communities um, and they live for nearly 40 years. That's insane. Compared to three years for a mouse, anything that is that size lives around three, four years. So clearly, that's, that's orders of magnitude. clearly they're and doing something. Magnitude. They've evolved some potent biological mechanism that is delaying aging. Mm -hmm. They don't get cancer. They don't get neurodegradation. They don't even get arthritis like every other wow. mammal does. And it suggests that there's one underlying fix that they're doing that is, that is sort of fixing all of the rest. But this paper that was out in Cell, it's unraveling the naked mole rats genetic secret. What they found is when you have the naked mole rats sea gas version versus the human version or the mouse version, somehow the evolution went into the naked mole rat genome and made the changes to switch the behavior of sea gas to something that was from, from something that was inhibiting to something that is actively helping this high fidelity DNA repair. Once they pinpointed the domain that was different, they went in and looked at what were the amino acids that were different. They found 16 different amino acids. Then they went in and made chimeric proteins. Four of those 16 were specific substitutions that caused this switch. What you can do is you can take the human version and you can put in those four instead of our human version. And then that protein now becomes the, the naked mole rat version. So we've pinpointed exactly what are the are the genetic changes that caused this. Isn't that's, that insane that's that we can actually so, do that, dude? That's so oh, man. unreal yeah. to think about. Down to literally the amino acid. Yes. Like the four, the four. individual yeah. amino acids that yeah. make the difference. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. And, and it's like it's like a it's like a a consequential difference. Yeah. Uh, it's the difference between three to five years and 40. Yeah. Uh, I mean, exactly. Which is four, which is four, which is four. It's, it's pretty insane.